Hey guys, Chaz back with another video. In this video, we're gonna go over my Darius Garland slab collection that I have. I've basically been PCing him since um, late 2019. Um, he's the guy I zeroed in on as an undervalued, uh, extremely undervalued asset. Basically, for being a fifth round pick, being hurt your college year, you know, and coming back, working off an of injury, being the fifth overall pick, I thought his stuff was, you know, criminally undervalued. His, there's some cards here that I picked up like golds for like 50, 60 bucks. And I believe, and I've always believed he's better, way better than Kobe White. He's actually proven that this year. But Kobe White's, the, the, the same card was going for like 700 and I could pick his up for 50, 60 dollars. That's why I was just going so heavy on him because he was just extremely undervalued. He was getting treated like the like the uh, second round pick price compared to his the way he was drafted and his potential. Um, and it's just like the stuff I got graded, like 80, 70, 80% of this stuff is the stuff I got graded on my own. I bought some of this stuff graded already. Most of the majority of like nines and stuff I got graded. I haven't picked up too many tens graded, but I have, I'll, I'll go, I'll show you some of the ones I'll go over some of the ones I uh, think most of the major cards I do have of them is stuff I got graded myself. I did just pick up, I've started to pick up some bigger cards of his. I think in this stack of mosaic, I picked up a, a huge mosaic card. That's the most expensive card I've ever picked up for Darius Garland. It's not the most expensive card I have, but it's the one's the most expensive card I bought. Um, second most expensive card I've ever bought. I think the LeBron James I paid nine hundred is the most, and this was the second most expensive card I've ever bought. Um, trying to you know get more of his rare stuff. Um, I really believe in the guy, so I'm gonna try to hold some of the rare stuff a little bit longer term. Probably gonna get rid of some of the you know lower end stuff like prism color and stuff like that. But like the super short print stuff and stuff, I'll probably look to hold on. I really believe in the guy, and I do believe he's a future All Star. You know, and then just depending on where team he if he gets traded to another team or the Cavaliers become a good team to where you know the price is good uh, eventually end up. I'm not gonna hold you up too much because a lot of cars to go over. I have them stacked like miscellaneous and then mosaic. Like half of this is mosaic and it's just random cards. Optic, prism, and that's select. And I'm going to do them in that order because I got some of the bigger cards in select. Uh, so let's just get right into it. This is a card I got for free basically as a throw-in. Um, it was super clean. So I was like, might as well get it graded. This is the only college card I have of his. Um, and then again, this is back when grading was $9. And I basically got the card for free. So I'm basically in this for $9. This is number 249. Card looks super clean. I was like, for nine bucks, might as well get a slab. I think the last, I, I saw like a 9.5, did like 35, 40 bucks. So the 10 is probably like a 60, 60, 70 dollar car or something like that. Nothing too major, but again, something that I got for free back then. I think I bought like a silver prism and then he just threw this into the throw in. And when I got it, it was super clean. I was like, all right, just get it graded. Came back at 10. Uh, this is a court side PSA 9. This recently came back, got that graded. Um, this is when I bought offline. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I just like the Mojo Infinite. Like it. Maybe get a 10 of that one. Um, pretty nice. I think this one I got graded myself is the Impact from Revolutions. This is number 2149. Another one I got graded myself. This is the lottery ticket. This is the regular contenders that connect contenders optic. This is number 25. Nine, I think it's what is it? Nine of 25. One off jersey number. He's number 10. Uh, pretty clean. I got this one graded myself. I think I paid $20 for this card. Um Came back a 10. I wasn't expecting a 10. I thought I would get hit. Um, this one, I think I purchased this one. This is the fast break color. Um, not color variation. That's the jersey is the variation. He's in the white jersey in this one. I just love the um, fast break with the bubbles on it. Just hot pops. Um, not numbered. I think I picked this off eBay. This one I bought. These two are blue chips. These are super low end. I think I paid a dollar for both of these cards. Uh, combined. Um, they just were super clean. I just like the movie Blue Chips. So when I saw the Blue Chip sensor, I just, you know, got them graded. I thought they were clean. We both came back PSA 10s. Uh, nothing, nothing big. These are really low-end cards. These are inserts from Mosaic. So nothing major. But again, two PSA 10s. Stuff like this is stuff I'll definitely move. Most of this stuff, some of the number stuff, most of the number stuff I'll look to keep. And then some of the rare short prints. Everything else is probably stuff I'll move like this. Orange Reactive. I think I got this graded again. A card I probably picked up for like two or three dollars. This is back when grading was either nine to twelve dollars. I forget what I sent it in because most of my orders I've gotten back with the most I've paid was twelve dollars so far. Um, probably the last last order I sent out was fifteen dollars a card, but I sent most of these things out way back when when they were a lot cheaper. This is the Blue Reactive again, a couple dollars. You know, 
then nine dollars a grade probably like twelve dollars into this car psa 10 i did I, I did generally did pretty good with darius garland in terms of grade like the first order i think i went like 12 for 12 or something like that with my darius garland's um mosaic so i've always done pretty good i think this one is one i did definitely buy i think i bought this for like 80 dollars or something like that silver prism from mosaic again mosaic has gone down a lot but again it's a product that a lot of people could have predicted it was gonna go down this is the nba debut this is not as sought after but this is numbered to 49 this one i did get it myself i think i paid like 15 20 dollars for this card uh came back a nine numbered out of 49 same parallel but this is the regular mosaic not the debut this one got a 10 i got graded myself 44 out of 49 pretty nice and this is the most expensive card i've ever bought from darius garland but it's one i wanted i've been you know trying to get back then i think they were going for like a hundred and something raw probably should try to pick up a few i always tried i always used to always get out bid um but then i was like you know Right now, just to get a, a, a raw one is like 200, 200 something dollars. Just, you know, for $500, you can get it already at a PSA 10. I think this is going to be one of the few mosaic cards that's going to be super sought after. Um, Genesis, these things look beautiful, like the nebula effect and all that stuff. I love the, how the look of this card. This is one of the few mosaics that I probably really look to keep. The rest of the mosaics I probably will sell. I do have one big mosaic coming back still. I think numbered out of 10, but it is an NBA debut. I have a number out of 10. I think the pink fluorescent. So still have a couple big cards that are in the process of being graded. They're on their way back. Now we're going to get into the optic stack. Um, optic purple. Again, these are like like the purple, the purple velocities and stuff like that. They're actually really short print. I think purple velocity is super short. Is it purple velocity? Purple shock. I'm sorry. The purple shocks are super short print. Um, the per the shocks from a couple years ago weren't as short print because they all because when you got the box set you got them you you pretty much got every single rookie, but in 2019 they didn't make them like that so they're a lot more rare than they were in 2018. But I don't think I think they they still comp it as equivalent to like the 2018 value across the board of the things. But I think it's way more um rare than the, that year. I love the look of the choice. It's like the mojo effect. I bought these. I def this one. I definitely bought. I think this one as well. That's how I got great. Now this one, I think I got graded. The choices I did buy them off eBay. Already graded. The fanatics. This one I did get graded myself. This one as well. This is the purple PSA ten. I actually still have one of these at Starstock. So I have one more. That's the only other graded card that I don't have in my possession at the moment. And these are the purple shocks that are super short print. Now, not only are they short print, they're hard to grade as well. So I think they're rare cards and then they're just tough grades because they usually come with print lines, a lot of these. So this is like one of the, you know, parallels you want to go after anybody in the 2019 class. If you like them, this is a, uh, it's going to be a very rare car of theirs. Super short print. Again, it is a really tough grade as well. Uh, the hollows, obviously a staple. I think one of these I bought off eBay for like 70 bucks and the other one i got graded myself and the ones i got graded myself i'm probably like a good like 20 dollars into the card so not too terrible this one i got graded myself as well this is the orange this one is numbered out of 199 196 out of 199 i picked this up around 30 dollars 20 something dollars i'm not sure this is perhaps my favorite Darius Garland card. I think this is my favorite one out of all the cards I do have. Not the most valuable. It is numbered to 88. It is one out of 88. So the first one out the line. But I just think with the color match and everything that's going on, the mojo effect it has, I think this is my favorite Darius Garland card I have. I just think it looks great. The parallel hot pops. I love the choice and then the red choice with the red uni. I mean, speaks for itself. I think this is the best looking card I own of Darius Garland. And we got the pink velocity right here. PSA 9 also got this one graded myself. I know it was a little bit off top to bottom. So card is clean on other than that. I mean, a lot of these these optics, they're a little bit, you know, it's a little bit, little bit off left to right, but it's pretty well off you know, top to bottom. So, but again, I was expecting a nine, but a nine is good and this is a card i made fun of when i got um my return it, it looks like a purple but it's actually purple stars this is number 14 out of 29 
they did a god awful job with the purple stars this year the stars don't pop enough in my opinion these things are dud but again number 29 super short super it's not a super short price just a super limited parallel to 29 and then we have the pink out of optic this one is number 22 out of 25 another one i got graded myself this one i recently got back psa 10 Again, move that to the side. Now we get to the, the break this in half or something because it's a lot. Um, this is my own SGC card of Darius Garland. Um, red, white, and blue. And this, I just wanted to get, you know, get the slab and feel. It's actually a very impressive slab. I like how it feels. And without the subgrades, it looks very terrible. Again, I don't know if I'd ever, I don't think I ever released that video when I was comparing the slabs. But again, if they would actually shorten this, the, 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 the label to like right here cut it down cut the dead space from the white space here to the white space here shrink that up bring it down i think the slab will be excellent i think the only thing that makes it look ugly is the the thickness of the, sl uh, the label up top it just throws the whole card off balance and just looks terrible um but the slab the feel of the slab and the actual the green and everything the shininess it has actually looks nice um but i just think it's just too big most of these nines and stuff like that i got i bought off ebay for real cheap this is a nine, red, white, blue. We got a nine, orange ice. Again, most of these things like this, I look to sell red ice, which red ice looks nice with the red on the uni. Goes really well. That I'll probably look to pick. I don't have a 10 of the red ice. I would like to, like to pick one of those up. One of the few uh, retail not numbers that I don't have. It's the fast break. Um, this is a variation. Uh, silver psa 9 we picked up a bunch of these off ebay Got another another silver psa 9 silver psa 9 silver psa 9 getting these pretty cheap uh this is one i got graded myself it's the luck of the lottery uh fast break psa 10 these i got graded myself base psa 10 Again, these are cards I got for free. $9 grading. I'm like $10 into these cards. PSA 10s. PSA 10. Red, white, and blue. PSA 10. Again, like $18 into this card or something like that. So even though they've gone down, you know, they were up well over $100. They, they're down to like $70, $80 bucks now. But again, the price point I'm into these is really cheap. Um... Got the red, white, and blue, PSA 10, another one. Got the green, I picked this up for like $70, I think. PSA 10. I think these all I got graded, the red, white, ruby, wet, wave, 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 waves. That's one, two PSA 10s, three PSA 10s, and again, I like the color match. But again, these are cards I'll probably look to move sometime in the beginning of next season, or sometimes in next season, depending on maybe, if, maybe holding to see if he starts off really well and the prices just take a jump orange ice these are short print really short print um i like how these look i like all the ices in, in general i don't have any of the pink ice i think that's the only ice i don't have so i'm gonna look to try to get them the pink ices for the most part they were severely off center all, i bought a bunch of them on ebay and mind you this is not all the darius gardens i have i have comp c i probably have like over 100 something raw cards that i'm talking about Prism Ices, Prism Silvers, Prism have a bunch still to sell. Um, so, yeah, I still have a lot of raw stuff. Um, and actually, let me just go over some. These are some of the bigger pickups. Again, I said I've been picking up some stuff. This is a card I recently picked up. I got a, a couple other cards that are about to come up that I recently picked up. The Genesis that I picked up for five something. I forget how much. That's the biggest card I've ever picked up with Derek Scott. Most of these I haven't picked. Most of these cards, you're going to see some big cards here. I didn't pay too much for it. There's a couple of raw cards that I recently picked up. I picked up the, you know, blue, red, green, whatever, however you say. I picked up two of them. These are around 60 bucks. This is the biggest raw card I've ever picked up by far. I think the most I ever paid before that for a raw card was like 100 And that was a gold. And I recently picked this one. I think $300 for this raw Tiger Stripe. This is one of the more, more sought after rare parallels. This comes from the choice. Um... These I'm looking to send when PSA opens back up. These are cards I'll be looking to send. I'm trying to pick up, probably look up to pick up some couple more raw cards of his as well. And a couple of like shorter print cards, like the Green Ice, something that you don't see too often. I think I picked this up for like 90 something dollars. Gem Man, it is a min gem, but Green Ice, one of the um, rare ices that you can get. 
This one came in the this one came in the Fanatics, I think, um set. So a rare one came in a you know short printed set. So BGS95 right there, Min Gem. And then these all I got graded right here. These silver tens. I went four for four on these things. Still have them. Four for four. Like $25 into these cards. And then $9 grade. And I was picking them up for around $15, I think, on average, my silvers. Um, right there, four for four on those. And then we got um, this is now we're going to get into the numbered ones. A majority of these I did get graded myself. And I didn't do too well. I got this back in order a little while ago. This is number 299. Again, this is a color match with the red. A nine. Got another nine. Got graded myself. Got a nine. This one I recently picked up for around almost $200. This is a true gem. Nine out of 299. Again, now I got three of those. This is the color, you know, matches the color, color the best out of, I think, all the retail, all the prisms. I think I want to pick up a red ice, though, because I, I like how the ice is looking, and then it's a color match. Then these I also got graded myself. This is the Fast Break Blue. This one is numbered out of 175. I did two, get two of them graded. They both came back PSA 10s. Those are, like, the only ones from prism that actually came back 10s, I think, though, that color scheme. Um, I got a fast break red, also got a nine, got graded myself. These two I got graded myself as well. This is the fast break purple. This one is out of 75, came back a nine. This is the pink fast break. This one's out of 50, came back a nine. So grading wise, I didn't do too well with prism numbered stuff. Only the blue <laughs> fast breaks actually came back tens. But again, those cards still hold a lot of value and again, if he starts to play, be the he comes out to be the player, those cards long term will hold a lot of value. Um, now we're gonna get to the select. This one I bought off eBay already graded. PSA 9 silver. PSA 9 silver. Now we're gonna get into the, some of the numbered stuff. And I have it set up like all the concourse, all the premieres, and then the court sides. Uh PSA 9 light blue, numbered out of 2.99 PSA 10 red out of 199 This is the white prism out of 149 PSA 9 Then we have a PSA 10 white prism and the funny thing is this one and the Quartzite silver I bought off eBay for twenty dollars raw the the white prism and the quartzite silver which the quartzite silver now if you try to buy them they're so rare you, you're not gonna see them hardly on eBay you'll probably wind up paying like three hundred dollars for it raw a silver quartzite Darius Garland and I picked this one and the silver for twenty bucks that's the good old days of buying off eBay um and then this is uh, the shortest print of the concourses that I have this is the blue. This one is number 22 out of 25. This is PSA 10. I got graded myself. Most of these I did. Mostly all the all the number stuff I did get graded myself. Uh, Silver Prism PSA 9. This one I bought off eBay. This is the Maroon Die Cut, which are tougher grades. I got graded myself. PSA 10. This is out of 175. Maroon kind of goes with the uni. Then we got the Gold Wave. This one I got graded myself. This is Premier level as well gold wave and this is one of the biggest cards i have of darius garland might be the biggest is a psa 10 gold die cut four out of ten this one i did get graded myself this one recently came back uh, i also have another one of these sitting at psa which i thought the other one was in better shape than this one so hoping i get another 10 the only other of the the only one other than this one that got graded are the die cut golds i think is a eight so i got there's an eight and then i got my 10 and hopefully i'll be bringing home another 10 now we're going to get to court size which is this is one of the more sought after you know sets if you say um the base court side right now is selling for more than the uh, than the silver prism so that's how sought after these are that these the base of this is actually going for more than the silver prisms which is one of the more sought after cards for most players this is the base prism court side, P 
PSA 10. Another one, these two I got graded myself. They both came back PSA 10s. Actually, I think all the quartz I got graded myself. Yeah, all of them. Uh, the Disco, this one came back at nine. Really nice looking card. Again, these, these I think all the core sizes are the ones I'll be looking to hold. This core size, I think, will be the premier, you know, chase for all the players around this time. This is a red wave. I'm not sure how it's select this year going into retail will hurt the long-term value of some of these. But these are super short print. They're not going to be short print anymore going forward from 2020 on. So another red wave. Got another nine. So some of the bigger sets and stuff like that didn't do too well. So this one's a red disco out of 49 this is 41 out of 49 big card right here which would have been a 10 we got a gold wave psa 10 again i think i paid like 40 50 bucks for this card uh came back a psa 10 i had another one of these i think i just sold it raw for like 150 even though i picked both of these up for around 100 i sold the other one for things and with most of these cards i'm like very little into them because i would do stuff like that like you saw like Normally, like I told you, I bought this one. This is a PSA 10 silver. It's like one of, this is a humongous card right here. Um, I would buy them in lots and something like this one. I know for sure came, this this one came in a lot with a bunch of cards. In this lot was this one. And also another card I recently got back was the Kevin Durant out of 49 of the concourse. I had sold all the other cards that I bought from that lot and made profit. So this one and the Kevin Durant were free. Then when the Kevin Durant came back, I sold it for $300. So basically this one, this card is free grading and free everything because I had made money off the lot before I even sent these cards to get graded. And then the Kevin Durant came back at 10 that I sold for $300. So a lot of these are have similar ties. Like some of the number prisms, I picked these all up, like the number to 75, the number to 50. I think one of the, the red waves, it was like four numbered cards of Darius Garland. I picked it up for like 160 or something like that. So like dirt cheap. Like now if you want to pick up one, if you want to pick this card off raw for eBay, it's probably like two, three hundred dollars to pick it up on re eBay. The cheapest maybe 150. And I bought basically four of them for 160. Um so again, it's different times, obviously, but um a lot of this stuff is like very little that I'm into them. Um and like the most expensive one there was the gold that I had picked up. And it wasn't even that gold because that gold I paid like $70 for. The one I have at PSA, I paid like 110 for. And that was like the most expensive I've ever purchased anything from Darius Garland until Raw. And so this one, then my biggest purchase, obviously, is this one right here, which is the Genesis, the most I've ever paid for a Darius Garland card. But most of these cards are like very, very little into them. Like the Silver Prisms, I'm into them for like 25 bucks. Um, and again, I'm just putting that value because that's what I paid for them. But if I got them in lots, I ended up selling everything else on the lot and then just basically free rolling the card, which I did for a lot of these cards. Like the pink prism, I think I paid 40 something dollars for this. Again, dirt cheap. I'm not paying like crazy prices. Like now, if you, of any player, if you get anything numbered, is like, you know, the prices that people pay for, you know, guys who are, you know, in their rookie classes now is just like insane to me. So, um, pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna look to keep adding some rare darius garden stuff and i still have a bunch of rare darius garden stuff on the way back from psa so be looking to add more to this collection hopefully i'm gonna do this video a couple of months down the line and the collection has grown obviously i'm gonna look to move some of this stuff um sometime in this upcoming season and mostly hold on to all the good um shorter print stuff uh, the number stuff. Um, pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like down below. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Till next time, guys.